Hi, Dr. Robinson here with another Tech Vision lesson for today. And today we are in Desmos graphing calculator. And what is so great about this is the student can immediately input their information and of course uh, get it into their document. So uh, I have a beautiful, you know, polar rose here right now. I'm going to Control O. Oh, Firefox. Let's do blank link. And if I tab through, oh my gosh. So even if you need help, you can hit enter on any of these and it will actually start you out with the correct formula that you need. Desmos will also actually help you along the way. I've done another Desmos uh, graphing calculator uh, video that I want you to go ahead and take a look at, which will help you actually enter formulas really easily. But today it's all about how do you actually get this picture out of Desmos and in, into your document. Well, while I'm here, I want to pick something really pretty. Oh yeah, parabolas, everything. And that is what is so great. Um, oh, polar rose. We'll already have that down there. Ooh, spiral. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay, let's just pick one just so you get the idea. But you can do a control O. You can go to any of these. Now these will not be your options. Uh, if this is not already in here, you can actually start out very simplistically. If you open a blank document, it will give you even more, well, new blank graph. Uh, that's where you want to start and go ahead and, you know, y equals x to the power of 2. Uh, anyway, when I hit enter on that, and my graph will immediately change. And uh, what I can do, of course, is just change the letters and the numbers of this but I'm not going to. So let me listen to where I'm at. So what I actually want to do is tap to share. Open graph. Yep. I also could insert F5. And I'm going to keep tab. Share button, that's what I want. I'm going to hit spacebar and open it. There's different ways you can do it. Some of the teachers actually just ask the students to send them this uh, link. So all you have to do is just copy that and paste it into your email and uh, and then just ship it off to your teacher and your teacher can actually open that. Other teachers want you to go ahead and embed that and I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to export my image. I could tab listen, embed it, but I'm going to shift tab and export my image. I'm going to hit enter on that. Okay, and it opens. I'm going to tab. Now I'm going to tell you with my low vision kids, uh, I actually make it thick so they can actually see it well. Well, if you're blind, it doesn't matter. Thin is absolutely fine. Okay, there's medium, there's thick, and it's all I would have to do. Actually, I'm going to just shift tab, and I'm going to hit space bar. So visually, you can actually see that change. So if you are low vision, you can actually see it better. If you wanted to even see it better, I would control plus plus. Okay. So, and that's what I do with my low vision kids, and then they actually pick what they want. Okay, let me just hit space bar on thick so you can see how thick that is and uh, most can actually even see that, so they actually get it. Um, heck, I might as well go ahead and just keep that. I've already entered all of those. And there's download PNG, easy, easy, spacebar. Okay, I am actually gonna save this because I wanna open Word and then I wanna insert it in there. So I'm gonna just hit enter on that. Okay, and while it's saving to downloads, I'm gonna control zero. Uh, basically, screen readers do like everything at 100%, so I always just make sure I undo everything I just did. So the next step is opening Word. And enter. Here we go. And escape or enter to get in there. Okay, so let's pretend I've already typed in all my formulas and everything and hit enter. Okay, let's go ahead and insert my picture with Alt N P. Okay. Now, the easiest way to do this, and it is easy, I'm going to Alt D and actually tab to my tree view and hit Q for quick access because I've got my quick access enabled and I know it's the first picture in my quick access. So I'm going to Alt D, tab, tab again, again, hit Q, hit enter, and listen. Okay, and what I'm going to do, and it's uploading at the same time, so I'm going to hit D. Okay, 
Zero. Quick access open. And so I'm going to go ahead and tab over. Folder view. Items view. Multi select list. It does most. Select the tabo. Select the tabo. Select the tabo. Select the tabo. Recent files expanded. Select the desktop. Select the PNG. This PC tabo. And it is the first one in my recent files list. So if you also are someone who loses your files, just know your quick access or Windows E, it will be right there. Anyway, I'm going to hit enter on that. Okay, so I'm always going to tell you the size is always going to be problematic. So you do need to fix it. So I'm going to go ahead and anytime you insert your picture or your table, you're going to have extra format options open and they always start with G. I say always right now. I don't know, wait a couple of years and wait for an update. But right now it's all and it's J, P. And then you're going to do S, Z for size. Z, J, P, S, Z, leaving menus, leaving ribbons, cancel okay. button. What's so great about this is blind people can even all by themselves do this because everything is numerical. So I'm going to tab. I tab selected. The switch pages. Press it. Absolute radio. Okay. Project. Always go to your absolute zero. values. Absolute height. Edit combo. 6.5. Okay. 6.5. Well, my paper is 8 by 11. So 6.5 is way too big. You always have to consider, um, you know, your teachers, presbyopia, you know, hits at 40 and whatnot. So, uh, for in the most part, most people have visual problems. I'm just going to tell you that. So make it so it's not too small. Three inches, probably good. 2.5 maybe. Anyway, what's nice is uh, my lock aspect ratio is selected. So I always tell beginner students, go ahead and Alt-H, tab to lock aspect ratio, or Alt-A, right to lock aspect ratio, and check that box. Uh, so it will change automatically. I'm going to just do 2.5. I'm going to tab. Absolute radio button check. So change and my absolute value of width changes also. Okay. And I just cut this in half. I'm going to hit enter. Ta da Now, what you could have also done is you could have alt texted that because it's just going to say graphic if you don't. So alt J P. And S Z Control tab. tab selected. Text wrapping tab selected. The switch pages. Press control plus page. Escape. Escape. Picture containing device description automatically generate. Okay, so what you also may want to do is alt text this, but if you're in a rush like most like most math kids are, you're probably just going to insert it because you will know this is a particular design based on your math, but you can hit your application menu, key, the move from items, press up or down and key. you can you can also edit alt text. Size and position, you can edit alt text, 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 text and enter. In menus, edit a picture containing device. Alt text a picture containing device. Yeah, picture, picture containing, containing device. device. Yeah. Anyway, um, I can't even remember what this was called, so I'm just going to put uh, spiral. Okay, and get rid of all the automatically generated and hit enter. I need to close this, so control space, control space menu, move, the C to close, menu, document one. and now up arrow, spiral graphic, ta-da, spiral graphic, beautiful, and that is how you uh, get your beautiful pictures and graphs into a Word document. Okay, if you like these videos, thumbs up, and we will be presenting more, and that's how you do Desmos Graphing Calculator.